Welcome back. So some news of the day for all you fine people. Yes, the board is present because we've got a couple of signings. So the amount and all that fun stuff. Uh, Philip Zadina has signed a three-year extension with the Detroit Red Wings for $1.85 million per season. So if Zadina does take some kind of a jump in terms of his offensive production, that contract will look like a huge bargain. If he does not, it would be easy enough to move if if Iserman decided to do so. But it's another RFA that's uh, not going to be talked about any further. Uh, Philippe Myers, who was acquired by the Tampa Bay Lightning, signed a one-year, $1.4 million extension with the Tampa Bay Lightning as well. No, There's no risk to that contract either. Again, most of the contracts signed this summer, uh, GMs have been pretty smart about it. A flat cap will force that on, on GMs and on players too. They may want more money, but the money's just not there. So either take what's being offered, or I, I guess the option is to sit out, right? Um, also in the news today, Mike Babcock has announced he's retiring from coaching. So he'd been the head coach at the University of Saskatchewan. And there's a lot of talk about him and his uh, the way his career in the NHL ended and how he treated players and all this stuff. But in the end, while there were some that believed that he was hoping to get back to the NHL as a coach, uh, he's announcing he's retired as a coach. Now, it doesn't mean that two years from now, he won't magically show up somewhere as a head coach, but uh, it does feel like this is probably the end of it for now. Uh, so it, it is an interesting way for this to end too, that he steps down as coach of the University of Saskatchewan. So he stepped down and stepped away from that job and now is saying he's retiring from coaching. There's always been that speculation of when an NHL team was gonna call him because we are aware that the NHL usually will recycle coaches. So if Babcock's no longer a coach that can be recycled, it's one less recycling that can be done and then you get new coaches. I will say this for the National Hockey League this off season, they've done a good job of giving some new coaches a chance. Uh, like Lambert in, in New York with the Islanders comes to mind, Richardson in Chicago is another one. There are examples of coaches getting that first opportunity in the NHL and good because there are a lot of good coaches. Now hire a couple of European coaches too. Come on, you cowards in the NHL, let's get her done. There are some good coaches in Europe, and for whatever reason, players from Europe can come over and play, but the coaches don't get that same opportunity. So hopefully that changes. But yeah, so we'll see how long Babcock's out, or maybe he is done with it. Uh, now, Montreal, uh, a little bit of PR on their Twitter account showing that Sean Monaghan's going to be wearing number 91. Uh, Monaghan's been pretty prominent uh, since they acquired him, and so they must think he's, he's going to be good to go. Uh, and, and I hope he is. He looks happy in all the promotional stuff, which players will tend to do when it's promotion and it's for a new team for them. But if Monaghan can come back and be motivated, that could be a huge difference maker for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Kirby Doc, of course, still unsigned. No idea what to expect from Doc or when. Uh, Doc coming off of what was easily the worst season of his career. And I'm, I'm not sure what his ask is. I'm not sure what the offer is from the, from the Canadiens. But it doesn't feel like there's there's any impending doom to this. There's no pressure. That pressure will often show up as soon as training camp gets going or within about a week of training camp. It feels like the pressure starts to amp up on these guys to get signed, right? Uh, speaking of which, I'm bringing me to the Dallas Stars. And once again, Robertson, Ottinger. The only reports with Robertson and Ottinger, it's going slow. That they The talks aren't going very far. And so again... I, I almost feel like this could just become a weekly segment of our Robertson and Ottinger signed. Nope. I could just do a quick three second video. That'd be that short that YouTube keeps asking me for. Here's a nice little quick short. Are they signed? No. Tune back in a week. So honestly, we're only a few weeks out from training camp. If these guys aren't in camp, that will absolutely affect Dallas's opportunity at competing for the playoffs. Because uh, if you get off to a slow start in the NHL, usually that will signal the the, uh, the the seal the fate of a team during any given regular season. There are examples of teams that have come back after rough starts or even rough first halves, but it it's it's a lot tougher. And for Dallas, a team that's seen as being middle of the pack, uh, it is more important, I think, for them to get these guys signed now. Uh, so hopefully they get signed quickly. The good news is I'm leaving the house for a while today. So maybe that helps get things going. We'll see. Sometimes that is the case. And if I if I have to do a video of them being signed in the middle of trees somewhere, I have no problem doing that. I think that would be great. 
So here's to hoping that Robertson and Ottinger get signed soon. Fingers crossed for that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.